Hello Steelstorm fans and fans soon to be. Um, this is Borosep, I'm with Code and Action, Creative Arl, and uh, this is my first screencast, so bear with me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your basic mission, save it, and uh, play test it. In the main menu, after you launch the game, choose editor, um, choose campaign game mode, and uh, let's create new campaign. Um, let's call it Morosep Morosep's Nightmare Nightmare there you go click create um, let's name our first tire and let's call it the beginning alright set and now we're ready to save let's create new campaign mission uh, from this browser you choose uh, one of the uh, levels that is supplied with the game I'm going to go ahead and choose this one and here we are um, this is the uh, sandstorm real-time in-game mission editor and this is the main view of the editor and on the right side you see the uh, main menu to navigate the view use WASD keys to rotate the view you have to right click and hold right mouse button and to zoom in and zoom out uh, use mouse wheel please do not zoom out all the way and start placing objects and then complain that you can't see them okay have common sense do not place objects where they don't belong like for example right here on the green area because you don't see if you don't see it in the standard view when you um, started the editor you cannot reach it so don't place anything there and complain you cannot reach it okay let's just create um, first basic mission uh, each mission the, the foundation of each mission is a spawn pad where player start starts the game and the exit pad Okay, and whatever is in between, it's up to your wild fantasy, wild imagination. Um, let's go ahead and create a mission where we have to kill two light tanks to take down the force field that uh, protects the exit pad. First of all, let's place exit pad. Go to utilities and exit pad. Let's place it right here and let's put force field on top of it now I would like for uh, this force field emitter that right that is right under my um, cursor to be right here so I'm going to rotate the force field using bracket keys and keyboard you can do it with any object and left click to place it okay now we're going to set up a system that will count two kills and will uh, trigger the force field. So hit escape to go back into the main menu. Choose a trigger relay. Place it anywhere. And <coughs> now we're going to select the force field and set trigger. So the trigger relay will trigger force field. To do that we select force field, click set the trigger and click on the uh, trigger relay box. Done. <coughs> As you can see um, a green, green line connects the force field to the uh, trigger relay and it indicates that trigger relay will trigger the, the uh, force field. Now select the trigger relay and set max triggers to one that's the only one time where you can trigger it if you have zero you can trigger it multiple times escape now let's place two um, light tanks go to enemies light tank one here one here now select the light tank any of them and set target 
and click on the uh, sugar relay done so now when we kill this tank it will it targets the trigger trigger relay which uh, in turn triggers the force field okay now to set up uh, both tanks we need to kill both tanks to trigger the box so we select second tank and we're going to associate it with first one so meaning if we kill this one but keep this one alive the force field will not go down so we, we have to kill both and set association and click on the first light tank link successful okay now we kill both trigger the box and the box will trigger the uh, the force field it's time for testing hit escape 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 now we're back to the uh, main menu of the game hit test mission I just plow those tanks away and there you go it works we have to kill two to take it down now you cannot exit right now because you are in the test mode in the editor so we need to set up our uh, uh, campaign structure so we can test it in um, really really test it escape and test um, might as well set up uh, objectives and briefing okay let's let's do objectives first click objectives new and uh, unlock the the force field and that would be primary objective unlock the force field and accept okay, there you go close now we have to click on this box go to objectives and assign these objectives click on it ah, just click on it and then close uh, now we're going to set up uh, briefing info which will be test briefing for now set and we will select music track mm, let's try this one play or oh, let's do desert yeah confirm now we have music playing we have briefing and objectives um, it's time to save mission go to the server commands save as I uh, already have game mode selected campaign now we're going to choose campaign and it's going to be motorceps nightmare and set the mission name which will be um, test mission set save save okay now we're going to test it for real hit escape close the editor go to single player see now you have another campaign here click on the that campaign's name and ooh. okay I forgot to um, add my mission into the uh, campaign go back to the editor campaign edit campaign motorceps nightmare now we need to add mission into the campaign add mission and you see the our mission is right here click on it it's been added now save it go back to single player motorceps nightmare there you go here's our mission click on it and here's your test briefing and your primary objectives unlock the force field accept and there you go this is your mission you gotta kill those guys there you go you beat your mission and now you can exit all right that's it for today and 
hopefully tomorrow or this week I will uh, create another video showing you more advanced stuff that you can do with the editor enjoy the game guys